Zenless Zone Zero has a system of points for you to be able to activate your ultimate. In this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to make the counting up animation of this system. If you follow this tutorial until the end, you will have something similar to this. First I'm going to show you how to make the counting up logic and then I'm going to show you how to make it look nicer and to align it with other text. I have a new project over here and the first thing we need is a text. So just right click over here, select UI and then text. Next we need a script to control the animation. Right click on your assets folder, go to create and then C sharp script. Open the script. Now for this logic we are going to need two variables. One is going to be called score, which is our actual score that increases when the player does something that increases the score. And the other one is going to be called UI score, and this one is going to rapidly increase until it reaches our actual score. And this one is going to be the one displayed on the screen. We also need a text mesh pro GUI to hold a reference to our text game object that we created in the beginning of the video. To update our text, we are going to create a coroutine, let's call it count up, and for our logic, we are going to increase the UI score until it reaches the actual score. After we increase its value, we are going to update our UI in the game. Since our score is a integer and our text is a string, we have to call toString method to convert the integer to a string. Now, if we were to run this, we would not see the number going up. The number would increase so fast that we would not be able to see it. To fix this, we are going to implement a delay every time our loop runs. For this, we are going to create a wait for seconds variable with the value of a new wait for seconds with 0.01. And to actually make it wait, we are going to call yield return delay. With this in place, we should be able to see the number going up. To be able to test this function that we just created, we are going to create a if statement inside the update function and activate this function we created when we press spacebar. We are going to increase our score by 50 and then call our coroutine. Save the script. Now we are going back to the Unity and we are going to create a new game object to hold this script. So right click and create empty. Now drag our script on top of this object, select the object, in the inspector you are going to see that our text mesh pro GUI is with the value none. So we are going to drag our text into this field. And now if we play the game and press spacebar, we are going to see the number counting up. Now before we continue, we have to fix one thing. If we press the spacebar twice, we are going to have two coroutines running at the same time. When we start a coroutine, the function returns the coroutine that is running. So we will create a variable to hold the coroutine. And when we press spacebar, we are going to check if there is a coroutine running. And if there is, we are going to stop it. We will also update the UI score to be equal to our score. And then everything else will stay the same. In our count up function, we are going to set our current coroutine to null at the end of it. With these changes in place, when we press spacebar multiple times, the counter is going to update at the same speed. Next, we are going to see how to put a text next to our number. To do this, 
we are going to duplicate our text object. Then we are going to right click on our canvas and select create empty. This object will be responsible for aligning our text. So first, drag the text object that holds our number into this new object and then drag our other text object into this new object. To make our text align properly, we are going to select our align object. We will go to the inspector tab and press add component. Type horizontal layout group and select it. To get our desired output, we are going to check width under control child size and we are going to uncheck it under child force expand. Now, if you run the game, the text might not be looking very good and that's because our parent object might be too small. So you have to resize it so it's a little bit bigger than the size of the text that we want. Because this way, when our number increases, it will have space to grow. Right now, it should be working as expected, but it's a little bit ugly. So let's fix that. Unity only provides one font for us. So we have to download a new font, drag it to our assets folder, Go to Window, Text Mesh Pro, and then Font Asset Creator. Where it says Source Font File, we are going to grab the font that we just imported and drag into this field. Now press Generate Font Atlas. Next, press Save and select a folder to save it. After doing that, we can now change our font. So select your text, go to font asset, and then select the new font that we created. If you want, you can give the text a nice color gradient. So below vertex color, you check color gradient, in front of color mode, you can select, for example, vertical gradient. And then you can choose two colors that you like. And that's it. If this video was helpful, give it a like. If you'd like to see more tutorials, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.